Traders, so you're finally going to get to see the day trading house and where I live. But before we do that, I've got a little surprise for you. We're going to take you back to where it all started. This is where I actually grew up uh, many years ago. I thought it was quite cool for me to bring you back here. Might look run down to many of you, but I saw this as home. So behind me, you can actually see my actual window where some of my friends used to shout at me and say, hey, come out, come out, play football. We used to play football down here. But again, before, probably about eight, nine o'clock. After eight, nine o'clock, you wouldn't want to be out here. Quite dangerous. So over there is actually the front side of my house. Before you saw the back side, uh, where my bedroom was, this is actually the front side with the front door. Gunshots, a lot of stabbings and stuff happening around here. Sounds exaggerated, like something out of a movie, but not a part of my life. I like to talk about it a lot, but it's the reality. And that's, you know, that's how it was. But that drove me on to want to obviously do better and get out of here. So that's what I did. Come in. Okay, finally we're here, everyone. Very different to where we've just been. So first we're gonna start with the kitchen and open plan living room. So this is part of the kitchen and the living room. One of the reasons why we bought the house relax, have some food, sit down, watch a little bit of TV after finishing the day trading. And then part of this kitchen, open plan living room, this is where me and my missus have some food. The gustos that you see me put up on Instagram and then this is the uh, main kitchen area, beautiful worktop finishes, One of, another reason why we bought the house. You can see everything in, it, in one room, breakfast bar, which we never use. And obviously this is where the cooking happens. To be honest, my missus does most of the cooking. I'm a very lucky man. Through here, we've actually got my favorite room in the house. You won't believe it. It's so extravagant. It's the utility room. So this is the utility room. I actually wasn't joking. When I said it's my favorite room in the house, it actually is. I'm scared to touch the thing in the rest of the house in case my missus shouts at me. Here, I can do whatever I want and I won't get into trouble. Here's the evidence of that. I put a dent in the wall. So here we are back out in the double height reception room, just opposite the day trading room is the living room, which is currently having building work done to extend it out. Here you go, babe. Oh, what are you doing in here? She's in here again. She's everywhere. Yeah, do some work for a change. She wants me to do the flooring. But on a serious note, you can probably hear the builders on the other side. This whole room is being extended out um, into that way. So we're back out in the reception room and you're very lucky because today we're going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you the whole upstairs area. So this is the main galleried area with all the bedrooms. We're just going to quickly go and check out my bedroom. So this is the bedroom and there she is again, popping up out of nowhere. Now, obviously, I know it's quite dark in here, but that's intentional. When you've been watching all the flow, the markets all day, you want a bit of relaxing atmosphere. Just across from the bedroom, we've got the gym, which of course I'm not allowed to use, as you'll see. There she is, working out in her makeup, perfect outfit, just doing what everyone on Instagram and YouTube does, pretending to work out. Ooh, it's so heavy. <laughs> Babe, can you help me? <laughs> oh, one kg, we're gonna need about four people for this. Now, next to the gym is supposed to be a bedroom, but as I said, our missus has taken over the complete house, so it's a walk-in wardrobe for her. There you go. We've got a clothes store in here. Babe, what do you think of this dress? Beautiful. I have to say that though, otherwise I get in trouble. So as you come out the walk-in wardrobe, obviously I barely spend any time in there. In fact, none, because it's all women's clothes, for you're wondering, is another bedroom, but of course she's converted it into something for herself, her office. There she is, looking pretty, of course, beautiful, and working very, very hard. What are you looking at? Babe, get out of here, I'm looking at wedding dresses. Oh my God. So as you can see, she actually is looking at wedding dresses because we're about to get married in around six weeks. A lot of you know, I proposed. She just about said yes. So I'm quickly getting married before she changes her mind. So now that you've seen the whole house, as promised, we're gonna head to the day trading room. So let's go. So let's be honest, this is why you're here. You wanted to see the day trading room, the day trading house, the epicenter of it all. Here it is. This is where the day trading happens. And actually, this is where I spend 90% of my day. And this is what really pays for everything that you've seen today. I've actually got a brand new office being built in the garden, which I can't wait for. But until then, this is where it all happens. These are Dell monitors. 
my trading notes for the day. Got the Logitech webcam over there and the mic. Business calls that need to happen throughout the day for various businesses that I run. So now that I've got you here, I just wanted to make one point because I know a lot of you be wondering, how did I transition from the area that you saw me in before to here? And believe me, it was not easy. A lot of people think because I've spent time in investment banking in some of the best banks in the world that I had it easy. I didn't, okay? It was very, very difficult to pull myself out of the area that you saw me in before. My parents couldn't afford to send me to school, let alone buy me lunch every day. I worked hard for all of that. I was basically watching, watching my dad graft out every day. I decided that I wanted to do the same to get myself out of where I was. It doesn't have to be trading. I know a lot of people will say to you, hey, become a trader and get yourself into a situation like this this wonderful situation, and that's not the case. It doesn't have to be trading, you need to do what you love, and that's the point. I did this because I had a passion for financial markets. You've got to do what you love, because it's what you're going to be doing for the next 10 to 20 years, and to become the best at it, you have to love it. But become the best at it, and keep grafting at it every day, that's how you're going to get yourself out of those situations. And then finally, I'm going to show you the brain center of it all. Let's go and have a look. So right next to the trading desk, right next to the Beat the Retail Nonsense sign, you've got the brainchild of the whole house. Everything is interconnected, all smart technology, all the speakers, um, everything's all connected. Okay, so you've seen the day trading room where I spend most of my day. Hopefully you found that useful. Don't wanna be giving away too many secrets, so it's time for you to get out now. No, I was only joking. Of course, you're welcome back anytime. And actually, I appreciate you watching today, the whole tour. So now you see where it happens. And actually, we're gonna have you back in around three, four months, when as you can see, all the renovation works going on right now will be finished. And you'll end up seeing the house fully completed. Can't wait to see you again.